Hey gang, Scott here. If you're a Photo Raw user, then you likely already know Photo Raw 2023.1 released a couple weeks ago, brought a bunch of new features in it, healing brush improvements, crop overlays, and the font sizes, and a new model for SkySwap AI, you know, a different model of uh, artificial intelligence how it was trained to replace skies and that's what I want to talk about in this video because uh, it's uh, it, it's kind of non-intuitive really you know which one should I use and why because they're they're named pretty generically but I have a, a photo here that's gonna it's gonna really just break it down for you but uh, the simple rule if you're a cut to the chase kind of person like I am use the default and if it looks bad try the other one I mean it is really that simple but here's an example that illustrates that the key thing is that the tone of the sky, and let's zoom on up in here, let's get really close in here. The tone of the sky is very similar to tones of other things next to the sky that aren't sky. In this case, it's building, right? So this is a very washed out, you know, whitish gray, and this is a semi washed out bluish gray. That for the original model for SkySwap AI pose challenges, right? We go over to Sky Swap AI, we open the Sky tab, and let's pick something, uh, just pick Clouds 2. We can see how aggressive that replacement got because those buildings have a very similar tone to the sky that we're trying to replace, right? If I turn off that thing there again so we can see the sky is very bright and white. This building's bright, this building's bright, and we do this and yeah, we can go clean it up, but that's a lot of work. Well, now there's this new model here. We've got model A, which is the default. And when something like this happens, you're like, wow, that's a, that's a lot of work to go clean up. You try model B. And what I've found is that model B is much better for scenes that have this kind of thing where the the, the, the objects that are not sky when they have similar tones to the sky. And this is much less aggressive. Now there's still some cleanup work to do here, but this is much more manageable than it is with Model A. Right? You know, Model A was just all over the place. And um, you know, just to give an example of what would I do to fix this up, click my mask area. And since I have buildings, I'll use the line mask and just kind of uh, go, okay, I've got a corner there. And I can go outside the lines here. And let's just take care of this first building. Now I'll get closer to the actual edges of the building. You know, do something like that, something like that, maybe a little bit of a feather, and then remove that sky from there and do that in a couple more places and then I'm good to go. So that's the deal with the models, the different methods for SkySwap AI. Stick with the default. That's what's going to happen as soon as you open that sky tab. But when things are getting too aggressive and, and you have photos where those objects have similar tones to the sky you're trying to replace, you'll probably want to try out Model B. That's the story. Other questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.